taking us on a ride. No pun intended. Listen to the way he sings through consonants. And listen to that quiet, it's like a seething intensity. Oh, just, it makes me shiver. I love music like this.
that's a lot. Actually, I don't think that is the end. It looks like it continues to play. Do they just play this out in silence? Uh. Oh my gosh. It's mesmerizing. 20 some odd seconds of just visualization. Ah. Nah, I, I, I could live without that. So, what did you think of this song? <laughs> I thought it was great. I thought it was very practical. Very sort of proggy, choppy, changey. It's very beautiful. Whispery. Suspenseful. Hypnotic. Sadistic. But very unique. It, it really feels intimate and intense, as you might expect such a situation to be. It's, wow. It sounds sexy, man. That joke is creepy as hell, bro. <laughs> it sounds like I'm listening to a a rock version of a horror movie. There are actually points of the song where I actually got like scared. Like it shook me, literally. It's like two of the most eeriest, hauntingly beautiful sounding singers in the one song just using their voices in the most amazing way possible. They could not have gotten a better vocalist for this song. If this style of song, this feel, they really did a great job picking a guest vocalist for this. On the instrumentals, y'all, ain't no everybody else right here mediocre with it, just average, just ah, uh, we did alright with it, y'all, way up top. That uh, slow down groove was phenomenal, and I just think that Maynard's um, hook kind of took away from the vibe of the song. <laughs> We're not looking for top 40 hooks here this is this is an experience i want to know what this song is about well i feel like it may have been something sexual maybe not though i mean that song is definitely about sex 